friends. My daughter Tiana is going to her first ball, the Marine Ball, and I got to help her put together her look for the night. It was so much fun researching what to wear and what not to wear and helping her put together a sustainable, unique look that made her stand out in all the best ways. We also had such a special thing happened that I can't wait to share. Welcome to the Dress Up Mom. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and I love you. If you haven't subscribed, please do and tap the bell for notifications. About a month ago, my daughter Tiana told me that she got asked to go to the Marine Ball and she was thinking of wearing one of her sort of nicer cocktail dresses. Now, even though I didn't know a whole lot about the Marine Ball, I knew instinctively that that wasn't right. So I offered to help her and she took me up on that offer, which I love because I certainly love dressing people up. I did some research on the Marine Ball specifically, but everything that we did would apply to any kind of a military ball. The Marine Birthday Ball is one of the biggest events on the Marine Corps calendar. It is a chance to get dressed to the nines, enjoy an evening of tradition, and celebrate the history of the Corps. As the ball is a formal affair, both Marines and guests are expected to behave appropriately and follow rules of proper etiquette. As far as what to wear, I narrowed it down to nine tips for my daughter. A modest and elegant floor length gown. Pick one asset to show off, nothing too revealing. Not too bright of a color. Not prom like or too juvenile. Very little to no sequins or glitter, but you can play with the accessories. Not too loud or flashy. There is a lot of walking around, so don't have a train on the dress. Most importantly, choose a style that fits you and that you feel confident in. With these tips in mind, I also really wanted us to find a sustainable look. Both she and I really believe in that for all of the environmental reasons, but I knew that if we did this properly, we would be able to find a really unique look for her that she would stand out in. I started by doing some reconnaissance. I went to the Nordstrom at my local mall to see the gowns and shoes there since I felt most women would be wearing some versions of these. I never shop at the mall and this experience reinforced in me why I don't. There really wasn't anything that special and while the dresses were fine, the fabrics and constructions weren't that great. There was one option that I thought could work as a backup. I knew Tiana wanted to wear a ballet slipper and I was shocked at the prices for pretty basic shoes that again weren't anything special. About a year ago, I got to go to my first ball and I found a lovely vintage gown and opera shawl at one of my favorite vintage shops in San Diego called The Girl Can't Help It. I had Tiana's measurements and I stopped by there to see if I could find anything. This beautiful vintage cobalt blue dress looked like the best option. Tiana didn't like the straps on it though, so I kept hunting. I thought of a local San Diego designer, Jennifer Grace, who I adore, so I decided to go take a little look at her website. I saw this black lace tear dress that instantly reminded me of Tiana. I sent her a picture and she loved it and thought it would look good on her. I contacted Jennifer and she said that she would bring the dress to a local boutique that we could meet her there over the weekend. That weekend, Tiana and I headed to Chateau Bellage. This unique boutique owned by Valerie Lee is fabulous. It is like being in a big dress up closet. Shopping is so much fun here and Valerie holds special events all the time. There was one going on while we were there too. I also love the people that I meet and see here. They have so much fun getting dressed and celebrate style and each other. It is a really great community that Valerie has built. Shopping here with my daughter for her special event was truly a treat. Jennifer showed up looking fabulous and had the dress with her. Chateau Bellage is one of the places she sells her gorgeous handmade sustainable pieces. The dress is made out of the softest high quality lace and was beautifully constructed. Tiana put it on and it fit her really well. It would only need a few minor alterations to be perfect. It was also nice because the dress can be dressed up or down depending on how it's styled. It complements her decolletage area and I really loved how the black looked against her skin. It is delicate and classy and I just love it on her. She knew she wanted to wear her hair up and she thought a tiara would be fun 
Now, I was a little bit concerned. I thought that might be sort of prom-like, but I looked around the boutique and I found this gorgeous embellished elevated headband that looked kind of like a tiara or a crown. And as soon as Tiana put that on, I think she was sold on the dress. Yay! We found a sparkly black purse, which added, but we thought it needed something a little bit more to make it slightly more formal. We thought of adding long black opera gloves. Tiana was walking around the shop and several of the women there commented on how beautiful she looked. And we got into a little bit of a conversation, told them that she was going to the Marine Ball. So we got their opinion on whether they thought a nice pair of long black opera gloves would be great for the dress. It was a resounding yes. And then this happened. This is Riwa, and she has kindly offered to send Tiana velvet black gloves for this dress. I'm just delighted and so honored and privileged that uh, Tiana is willing to allow me to loan her my gloves. They've been worn for the last 50 plus years to the White House, to England, to Australia. They've traveled the world. And when I heard she was going to the military ball, you've got to bring the class, darling. And she will. She's tall and elegant. Her gown looks gorgeous on her. I think this will be the icing on the cake. Enjoy. Now, how incredibly cool is that? We found out that Rewa was a former Miss Teenage America, and she got all of Tiana's information so she could send her these vintage gloves that she's been wearing around the world for 50 years. If that isn't kind, I don't know what is. Tiana also found a pair of black velvet ballet slippers online from Birdies, an ethical, sustainable, woman-owned company. A few days later, Tiana called and told me that the shoes and gloves had arrived and they were perfect. Tiana said the gloves were immaculate, packaged so beautifully, and fit her really well. They also came with this note from Rewa. Dearest Tiana, these black velvet gloves were clearly meant to be worn by you at the ball. They will be perfect with your gorgeous gown from Chateau Bellage. They have been worn all over the world since 1971, and you will now wear them as you make your own magical memories. The last time they were worn was at the Ritz in Paris. I hope you have the chance to wear them there one day. No need to return them. They now belong to you. With love, Rewa. This story brings me so much joy. Tiana is a kind, compassionate, caring young woman, and to have a complete stranger show her this act of kindness is so wonderful and makes me happy. These gloves will now have a whole second life. I know Tiana will treasure them and wear them and then hopefully pass them on to another special person that will give them another life. We took the dress to my trusty alterations guru Donna from Donna's Tailor Shop in Encinitas to put the finishing touches on the gown and make it fit like a glove. I could not be happier with how this whole look came together. It is respectful of the occasion and checks all the boxes. I also know that Tiana likes how she looks and feels in the outfit, which is really the most important thing. And the magic gloves from her fairy godmother, Rewa are the icing on the cake. Here she is with her date at the ball. I think she looks like a beautiful swan princess. She told me that out of the 1,500 people there, she had the most unique, memorable look, and she was the only one wearing gloves. She felt classy, confident, and comfortable. Now, I call that success. I hope this video inspires you to shop sustainably for your next military ball or for any formal occasion for that matter. You never know what special surprises you might encounter. Thank you, Valerie at Chateau Village for the incredible shopping experience and the wonderful community that you have knitted together. Thank you, Jennifer, for the gorgeous handmade gown. Do yourself a favor and check her out. She is a rising star. And Rewa, thank you for gifting Tiana these beautiful gloves that she will treasure and for the kindness you showed to a complete stranger. I really will never forget it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, have fun and dress it up a little.